Hey folks, Jonathan here. Okay, here is the treader project I got today. This is a treader I showed before, three axle, had mobile home axles, uh, only 13 foot deck because they used it for water tanks, uh, homemade. So the plan is, is to extend a seven foot in the back, add some cross members and put two 7,000 pound axles in. We're gonna take the rails off the side, four inch rails, we're going to try to save them enough to use them for cross members because steel's expensive and then we're going to take and put 20 footers six inch down the sides and that'll raise the sides up so we'll be able to put uh, our two inch boards on so we're going to take this steel deck off and we'll go back with pine and just treat it with oil and stuff we're trying to keep it light also so uh, that's the plan so we're going to first get the the old sheeting off and then uh I've got to pick up the I-beams today. Uh, we're actually going to kick these down from 8 inch down to 6 and a half inch. Uh, didn't want to, but I can't find any 8 right now, so we're going to live with it. Uh, it's all going to be behind the axle. The rear axle may end up mounting to part of it, but you know it's going to be plenty strong enough, so it's really not going to matter. Uh, we can make it stronger than what it would be if it didn't have a seam, just by plating and welding. So uh, it, you know it'll be fine. This thing over with the crane when we get ready and mount the axles and all that stuff so we're going to get these uh plates off we got one big sheet in the back two four by eights or less in the front and then we've got uh looks like five small pieces six small pieces in the center that we'll get out of there and we we'll get them out first because it looks like they're coming off anyway all right okay folks so far this is what i've got i'm not liking real well what i'm seeing uh cross members not hooked in cross members not hooked in which I got to cut them off anyway, so you know that's not bad. I just don't, you know, when you start seeing stuff like this, what's the rest of it look like? Now this cross member looks straight and welded in, but it almost looks like this one's in crooked, and there's no welds on it. So I don't know if something happened and they changed. Now they have got quarter-inch plate on top of the I-beam uh, where all the axles mount, so it's actually frame-wise built really good and strong. And as you can see. There's the I-beam and then the quarter inch plate. Looks like 12 inches wide. Probably didn't need it, but that's okay. But we're gonna get this rear one off and hopefully these cross members look in better shape. This looks original. The front section looks original. That center section does not. So I don't know if they took it off for a reason or something. Didn't make a lot of sense, but we're gonna uh, keep at it here. Okay, so here's what we found. This must be more of the original floor because it's welded from the bottom side on the cross members so the plan is is to take the crane and grab this side of it and just pick it up on its side that way i can uh, be able to get to the top and still get to the bottom and we'll go and get these panels off that's the most important thing right now all right So she was a little bit tongue heavy wasn't too bad we're gonna get our other get them axles off there too really nice eye beam plate so this was probably already on that eye beam is why they used it they used it to full length i didn't even realize that so i guess that's a lot of extra weight but it's extra structure too so that's okay i don't think we're gonna have a weight issue uh Okay, let me see. I think uh, what I've got to do is go in here and trim these welds off. I'm trying to save this also because we got plans for that for something else. So, of course, so I'm going to cut them at an angle and maybe they didn't get a lot. They don't look like, no. Yeah, a little bit. I didn't think they did a lot under that. That's okay. But these cross members look much straighter and much better than that center. I don't quite know what they were doing there. 
and it looks like there might be a plate on the outside yeah it looks like there's a plate welded on the outside first hmm that's weird okay that was oh i know what that is okay there's a piece of angle iron that was welded on and it goes across the top and that's where they have some mounts at so when we cut this off we'll cut the angle off too and we'll try to clean the angle up from the the four by and or the four inch wide channel and we'll use it for another cross member we're going to straighten out this cross member that's in it and like i said we're cutting the ends off anyway and replacing the the end rails so it's it should work out fine so i guess next is let's get these panels off that rear panel next all right okay out of auction of course we got a lot of this off just by you know burning the welds here and uh found out that this cross member is not in good and mounted or even on the other side so we'll take care of that problem so i think what has happened here from what I can tell or what I'm thinking this was a car trailer and they put these eye beams and then they set this down on it and they did not weld these beams in good at all and the reason I think it's a car trailer is because of the the tongue there it used to be there and it's gone so that's a pretty telltale sign that that was a, a bumper full trailer and then Somebody has uh, put these eye beams under it and built this tongue on it, which is fine. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, you know, what we're dealing with is good, you know, seems to be okay. But they didn't mount it down good. And they probably didn't, well, you can see it's not, uh, see if you can see that crack in there. It's not mounted good anywhere. And the reason it's not mounted good is the deck was already on the trailer when they set it down. So what we're gonna do is get the deck off the trailer Leave the eye beam or leave the channel iron on, which some of them's going to be loose. But that's okay. We'll leave them on, and then we'll do the measurements on them and make sure they're right because I don't want to take a chance on what they what they actually done. And then uh, it's looking like that our rear axle uh, is going to mount basically from here to here, and the other one's going to be behind it, and there'll be a rocker assembly here. Now these mounts are coming off, uh, as you can see. Let me see. Here's the really nice one there all twisted up and, and messed up so we can't run stuff like that at all so we'll burn all this stuff off uh, put new mounts on it and then like I said we've got to get it figured out on this you can see where they've taken it loose from the original frame so there's no frame here for this upper trailer all they used was the cross members in the deck uh, so this has already been finagled together so we're going to go ahead and uh, take that plate off get it all squared away right measured out right if we got to cut some beams loose and re-weld them whatever we got to do uh, everything on the bottom side you know this frame looks really good I don't have a problem with it except for the fact that it's too short and we got to extend it uh, which is not a not a big deal either so we're not worried a bit about that and uh, this is probably a little heavier than what we probably needed, but I'm not going to complain. Like I said, I've got enough truck to pull it, and I think we'll still be under our weight limit. We'll probably weigh this when we're done with the crane, and, and then uh, that'll give me an idea between this and what my truck weight is of what, what I can actually haul without getting in trouble. And uh, let me see, everything else so far is going good. We're going to just uh, go get some oxygen. I've got to go pick up some other stuff anyway, and then... Uh, We'll continue to work on it all right all right folks here we are we've got our stripped down uh cut everything off last night now as you can see there's some pieces still left on and then in the front so we've got to do a little changing here and there to get that done uh most of these cross members are not welded down and uh i think i don't even think they attempted to weld them down they basically just set this frame on top of the other frame when this had the deck on it. And you can see some of these are even completely loose. And uh, they welded the front and the back and that's basically all they've done. And uh, we can't have that. So I'm gonna pressure wash uh, all of this deck off. 
or the top of the of the beams with that quarter inch plate they've got on there uh, I don't think it needed all that but I think it was probably already on them I beams when they started and they just left it on there and because them I'm sure them were them welds was there they didn't put them there because they didn't do much welding at all but we've got Nana Cat here checking it out what do you think Nana is it going to work no uh oh she shook her head no that's not good all right folks she's flipped back down I pressure washed it uh got most everything all the dust and crap off of it so as we're looking at these cross members there's none of them mounted except where they had this opening back here we got one welder down there but uh i don't think it's welded. it's not welded here and it's not welded at the other end or at the other side we got to deal with this this is not going to be an easy thing to get off they got angle wiring running down and in and it's welded to the ends it's actually welded on good on this end i think this is some of the original stuff and we'll get these off and try to save them so we can reuse them so here's two i-beams uh six and a half they're both six and a half i thought one of them was six and a quarter but they're both six and a half six inch top uh they're h-beam i guess is what they are but they're uh quarter inch same as the other the only difference is these are six and a half instead of eight so we're gonna have to do a little finagling to get it to come down into the eight and make it look right and like i said this will be the back of the frame anyway so it's not really that big of an issue so but we've got to uh, cut these off straight and get them ready All right, folks, working away at it. Uh, we just about got this side done. Uh, having to carve it away, that's just the way it goes. So as soon as I get the top carved off here, I can go down and cut the sides of it. So we've just about got it. And then I've still got to clean up the lip here because this is actually the floor. I just cut it long ways down along the bars, but I can take the uh, air chisel and <clears throat> bend it up probably get it as long as it's not welded across the bottom and uh and like i said we've got to figure out what we're going to put through there we'll get it either way but as soon as i get this off i'm going to get steel and that way i can at least go ahead and get things start getting things cleaned up and go ahead and start getting our sides on uh that's gonna be the first thing i'm gonna do and then uh just continue you know getting the rest of it done all right folks here we go sides off also all these are loose none of them are, none of them are welded down the first four or five there uh we're going to use uh part of that for a cross member and part of the other one for a cross member we'll get two out of that and then we're going to buy 120 foot stick so we'll get two out of that uh and have four foot left and then uh, we can use for something but uh anyway we got more cleaning and stuff to do, but I'm going to go ahead and go get the steel. Okay, folks, here it is. Got the side rails on, tacked on, and then uh, I started adding on my beam for the back. Uh, as you can see, it looks kind of funny because it almost looks like that uh, I-beam's big as can be, but it's really not. Uh, anyway, I'll bring it on back. And I've got to space this a uh, quarter inch down because it's spaced quarter inch down on the other I beam. Once I get it exactly where I want it, then I'll tack it in, weld it in. Uh, we'll get that and, and we'll do the other one, which is laying there. And 
once that's done we can start getting the cross members in uh, we'll come up with something to go between the frame back here to tie it together and uh, as of right now we're at 20 foot 2 inches and we'll probably be cut back to about 20 when we're done we'll be you know close to it but, uh, anyway but we're trying not to get it too daggone heavy but I mean it's gonna be a pretty heavy trailer but uh, it still won't be any heavier than if it had been a you know a 30 foot or 40 foot or so uh, it'll be okay and anyway so we're gonna call that for today and I'm gonna take a break and uh, let my back heal a little bit here and then uh, get back at it tomorrow all right appreciate everybody watching till next time